Go. Hey, I'm Joshua Hamlin. I am out here at Sigma 3 helping Robert Allen over there, you see him, with his knife only class. Um, I'm going to keep a little journal of what's going on. We're going to talk to the fellows and see what they think of the school. And uh, we'll post that as soon as possible. Thanks for watching. So, who are you? I'm Jeff Santos. And what are I'm, you doing uh, from here? From Florida. I'm 40. Um, you know, I came out here because I really want to learn a little more in depth, you know, beyond the camping stigma, you know, like going out into the woods with a bunch of gear and stuff and being able to, you know, hang out, hack it in the woods. But here I wanted to come and learn to do the most minimal equipment, you know, and, and be able to thrive, not just survive, you know. Uh, you know, I know that knowledge weighs nothing and what I'm here to do is learn how to acquire all this vast knowledge and uh, share it with my loved ones, my family members and people that want to come to me to learn how to take care of themselves, you know. Like, uh, as a matter of fact, I'd like to work with uh, at-risk teens and uh, teach them that there's a better way in life uh, than just being destructive and, you know, hell-bent on hurting themselves and everybody around them, you know. It's one of my goals also. Hi, I'm Daniel Robinson. I'm here at Sigma 3 doing the intensive instructor course. Why are you here? Well, uh, I wanted to do some traveling, some hiking and backpacking and stuff, and I figured uh, a survival course would be a good place to start with getting my skills down. Um, go do some kayaking. I, want to, I definitely want to do some mountain climbing. Uh, just kind of go hike out and see what, what's out there in nature. So what do you think of the class so far? I think it's been very informative. I've learned so much already. I, I've taken a lot of notes and pictures and stuff like that that will help me retain the knowledge, but it's, it's been an awesome course and an awesome experience with a lot of awesome people. Uh, my name is Jackie Hong from Taiwan. What are you doing here? I'm taking the intensive instructor program. Survival training? Yeah, survival training. How long have you been out here? It's about... Uh, two weeks and three more days. Cool. Have you learned much? Uh, very much. Everything is fresh for me. I'm totally rookie about survival. So how are you liking it? Oh, help and help. Uh, survival is never an easy thing and I always like the easy things. <laughs> I hear you there. What's your name? It's uh, Matt Gardner. Where are you from, Matt? I'm from the UK, Oxford. So you're here taking the, what class this? Is? It's uh, instructor the training? instructor training course. Yeah. So How long have you been out here so far? I think this is day 19, I believe. That's right. How are you liking it? Uh, really enjoying it, actually. Yeah. Uh, different, anyway. So. How's, how's our weather compared to the UK's weather? It's about the same, ain't it? Uh, it's the same, but same but different. If that sounds right. I mean, it's more to the more the more extremes than anything. But no usual. Lots of lots of water. <laughs> what we are doing here is we are drying out meat and making jerky. Um, notice that the fire, you don't want the meat to cook. It's not hot in here. I can leave my hand in here indefinitely. It's, a, it's high enough above the fire that the meat won't cook. If it cooks, it, it could kill you. You could get botulism. So you don't want your jerky to cook. So we're just got it on smoking racks above the fire, drying out with garlic salt, red peppers, all kinds of tasty goodies. So we are going to luxuriously eat tonight.
<laughs> it's day three out here at Sigma 3 Survival. Um, got pretty cold last night. It rained all of day two. And it rained all of day two. And it was pretty cold last night. Apparently, some of the guys had a rough night. Let's see. How was your night, Jeff? I froze my ass off. <laughs> Why? My fire wasn't built properly. <laughs> the shelter wasn't, uh, didn't have enough debris on it. The bed was uh, very sparse with leaves. It was lumpy. <laughs> and he sprained his vagina. <laughs> How was your night? Well, it was good. I was actually quite warm. So good, good. I'm Kicking it in comfort with the bearded troll. How about you? Well, we started with this, uh, you. this fire right here. And it started out really good. It actually ended up cooking me out of the shelter. <laughs> and when the fire finally died down a little bit, I was able to get some sleep. I woke up around 3 o'clock, and the, the fire was so low that I was freezing. And so I tried to stoke it, and it did not work very well. So finally sand over, coming my vagina, I ran for my sleeping bag and ended up there. <laughs> we know our instructors slept well. Oh, yeah. Properly yeah. built fire. Yeah, Properly. Jeremiah was sweating. I was... Uh, <laughs> It's the I beard. Was toast, toasty warm. Um, you know, obviously when temps get down to around 35 like they did last night and they've been raining, it's been raining and pouring and, and just nasty weather in general, you've really got to make some preparations before you go to bed to, um, you know, make sure that your fire is squared away. And I'm not just talking about just making a fire. When we make a fire, we try to do, like in our double lean-to, we had a body length fire that we had stacked up in kind of a, a rectangular pyramid where we built our teepee right on top. And by the time we got it going, um, you know, it took an hour to get some, some decent coals going. It cooked all night long, and we were so warm in there that, um, you know, obviously we didn't need a sleeping bag or, or anything else. And uh, something else that works really great is taking hot rocks, sticking them up under your arms and between your legs. And I did that last night. And any time I get a cold spot, I'll just grab a rock, stick it by my cold spot, and I'm good to go. I slept like a baby. I, I was pretty comfortable.